here. Ah, oh, thanks. Great. Hi, I'm just measuring myself to see how tall I am right now. And I am this tall right now. Now, when I was seven, I was just this tall. So as you can see, I've grown quite a bit. <laughs> but how does your body know to do that? How does your body know to grow? Hmm? When you're asleep, um, your, um, your mind tells your body to stretch and that's how you grow. Because it needs to. When you eat lots of vegetables and you exercise. My food is a very sad message. <laughs> or when you sleep, you grow. Mm, you could be right. But what if growing happens automatically? You know, it just happens. You start out small and then you just grow and grow and grow. Oh, but hang on, that can't be right. Because did you know that your head is one quarter of your whole body when you're born? Do you want to know what that means? Okay. It means that your whole body is four times the size of your head. Charming. But if we kept growing at that same speed, we wouldn't end up looking like this. We'd end up looking like this. Here's how big my hand is today. It's huge. And here's how big it was when I was seven. This is how big it was when I was just 13. And my hand was this big when I was 20. It's the same size that it is today. So I've stopped growing. We all do. And it's a really good thing when you think about it. Otherwise... <laughs> I'm the king of the world. <laughs> Talk about getting too big for my boot. But I tell you what, some parts of your body do keep on growing. Like your ears and your nose. Not that big. Just a little bit. <laughs> but on the other hand, if you don't cut your fingernails, they're just going to keep on growing. And the world's longest fingernail belonged to a man. It was six metres long. Whew, what a long fingernail. Now, you may be wondering how on earth he picked his nose with a fingernail that long. And the answer is very carefully. <gasps> and then there's this hair. Hair. Hair just keeps on growing and growing. In fact, the world record for the longest hair is... Three metres. Whew, that's a lot of hair. OK, now, listen here. There are some parts of your body that keep growing and other parts that don't keep growing. And some parts grow faster than other parts and... Oh, I'm sure there must be something controlling all this growth. Something that says, Hey, body, you grow and you grow now. And it must be pretty clever. So, I think that clever part is somewhere up here with the other clever part, the brain. And I'd be right. The big headquarters of growth command is a little thing called the pituitary gland. And there it is under the brain. And it sends out chemicals called growth hormones, which tell different parts of the body when to get cracking because it's time to grow. So growth hormones are a type of chemical. Hmm, I wonder how that works. They laughed at me, but now I have it. The growth hormone, the secret formula that will make bodies grow. Grow, my lovely, grow. Hmm, maybe not. Anyway, before we work out how growth hormones help us grow, we need to find out exactly how we grow to start off with. Now, you may have heard that your body is made up of all kinds of things, like blood and bones and organs. No, not electric organs. I mean organs like your heart and your lungs and your liver and your brain. Oh, and your skin. Now, each of those organs is made up of tiny little building blocks. A bit like this one here. Well, 
actually no, the building blocks that make up your body are much, much, much smaller and they're not made of plastic. In fact, they are so, so tiny that maybe you'd like to have a look at a picture. Right, here's one of the cells that makes up our body. There's millions and millions of them. And here's what happens when we grow. Our cells split into two. But hang on, we grow when our cells split in two, right? Yeah. Well, just between you and me, this piece of fudge here has just split in two. But I don't see a lot of growing going on. There's exactly the same amount. So if that's all that happens to our cells, that they split in half, then we wouldn't grow. We would just stay exactly the same size. What we really need is for those cells to grow. Hmm. We need more stuff than the stuff we've already got. We need more stuff inside our bodies. We need food. <gasps> hey, you know when your parents say, eat your food or you won't grow? Well, guess what? They're right. You need things like fat, that's butter, and carbohydrates, well, that's things like bread, and you need protein. That's meat. And you also need water. You need all of these things so that your cells grow big and get full of energy, ready to split into more cells. That then have to grow big and full of energy and split into more cells, which split into more cells, and so on and so on. So, it's the food that you eat and the water that you drink that your body uses to make you grow. And it's a whole lot of really complicated chemical reactions that turns this stuff here into this stuff here. And how fast you grow depends on how many growth hormones are being sent out from up here. The faster your pituitary gland sends out growth hormones, the faster you grow. Hey, and have you heard of growth spurts? Well, if you haven't, you will, because they happen to children and teenagers. One day you're not very big, and the next day your pituitary gland sends out a whole lot of growth hormones, and look out, you're that much bigger and that much taller. And guess when growth spurts usually happen? In the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. So if you wake up one morning, and all of a sudden your shoes are too tight, your body could be growth spurting. <laughs> So your body's growth from little baby to great big adult is controlled by your pituitary gland, which sits here. And it sends out a chemical message called growth hormones to your body, telling it to grow. The building blocks of your body, called cells, each grow and split. But they can't grow on thin air, so that's why it's really important to feed your body and give it water while you're growing. Hey, why don't you measure your growth using measuring charts and hand size charts? And don't forget, feed that growing body. If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. Oh, and don't forget those glow spurts. Hey, I think that's one happening now. But I thought I'd stop growing. What? Ow! Oh, oh see you next time. Ka kite. There are some parts of your body that grow more than others. Keep growing in other parts. Grow, my lovely, grow! I'm the king of the world! Ah! <laughs> this program was brought to you by New Zealand On Air.